Good evening, Eduardo. Here, here. Ready for the class? Eh, eh, sí, solamente necesito hacer algo. Ya, ya, yo voy a estar con usted. No problem, no problem. Take your time. How ¿Qué tal? Bien, bien, bien. Fine, fine. Aquí, esperando. <laughs> Are you working on the platform? Sí, uh, ¿cómo? Are you working on the platform? Ah, sí, sí. Uh, ya, ya voy por la... Ya voy por el número dos, ya. Oh, perfect. Today we are going to work a little bit with two... With the number two. We are going to do a small exercise. It's going to be interesting. We are going to continue working with the WH questions, but... No, with the verb B. We are going to be working with other verbs. Did you check the PDF I sent you in the chat group? Uh, re repeat, please. Did you check the PDF file I sent you in the chat room? Ah, no. no That's the one no. we are going to use today. Uh, let me a minute. I would I would check it out. No problem. Ya sabe, ya sabe que va a haber cadena nacional ahora. Really? Sí, a las 8:45. Bueno, oh. Venir empezando tipo 8, 15, 8, 9 y media. Good evening. Yeah, something like that. Porque... Erika Rosario, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Yeah, it always start late. Sí, siempre empieza tarde. Uh, hola, compañera Rosario, Erika. Hola. Hello. Ah, hello, compañero. Erika, how are you today? Today is very raining. <laughs> and a little bit. And it's warm. Aquí es, sí. Uh, no, no much. No much. It's, uh -huh. it's, in San Miguel it's cold. It's cold right there? Yeah. Uh, here also. And the rain don't stop. Oh, really? It's day rain. Right now it is raining? Yes. Oh, really? No, here where I, where I live in San Salvador, it rained in the morning, almost the whole morning. But in the afternoon, no rain. And right now, it's not raining. Here, rain all day. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Uh, but, but no, no cold. Oh, here right now, it is cold. Very cold. That's Santa, why I'm... Santa, Santa Rosa de Lima is caliente. Yeah, I can imagine. Yo cuando voy a trabajar a Santa Rosa de Lima, me siento un poco sofocado ya en la tarde, ya trabajando. Sí, igual, si uno está ahí y si hace algún movimiento, ya está sudando, aunque esté lloviendo, igual no. Sí. That's the problem with the hot weather. Right. It's not... Easy, I mean, if it's cold, there's no problem. You put on a sweater, you get a scarf, uh, you put something on your head, a hood, a cap, and you are okay. But when it's hot, I mean, there are not too many options. You can just, what, take a shower, but after a few minutes, you feel hot again. So when it is hot, yeah, when it is hot, it's... It's more complex. Igual aquí cuando cae agua potable, el agua potable cae hirviendo, no cae. Oh, nada. really? En serio, yeah. hirviendo. Wow. O sea, es que el, el agua de aquí, de lo que ellos de Landa, 
lo, lo, el, el pozo que tienen aquí es, el agua es hirviendo porque supuestamente el pueblo está oh, en, okay. un, en un como her, hervedero de volcán, algo así. Oh, really? Porque aquí hay muchos riperadores de volcán. Oh, Por eso es muy caliente. Ajá. Yeah. Well, no, you know, uh, a few years ago I used to work in a place where it was cold, very cold, and the water from the house used to come, from the faucet used to come pretty cold. I mean, taking a shower in the morning was very hard because you were like shaking due to the cold. Let's see who else is here, Cesar Melchor and Jonathan. How are, how are you today, Cesar, tell me. Great, how are you? I'm just fine, glad to see you here, Jonathan. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I am fine. Um, That's great. You? That's great. I am fine. Enjoying today. We are going to start. Well, it's time. It's eight o'clock. It's time for us to start. So let's see. Oh, there's Paul. Paul is connecting right now. Hello, Paul. How are you? All just connected. Let's see. And good evening. Good evening, I Paul. Here. I am ready. It's good to see you here. I'm glad to see that everybody's connecting right now. It's time already. So today we are going to have today we are going to have an interesting class, uh, and we are going to start with a small review. Let's remember what we have been studying this week. You remember that this week we started uh, introducing yourselves. We introduced ourselves, okay. all of us. You remember, guys? That we started like saying, my name is, uh, I am from, and you work in the, in the breakout rooms together like that. And today we are going to work uh, something to expand that knowledge. And then we started working with uh, yes, no questions and WH questions. Today we are going to work with WH questions, but we are going to work with them in the, in the sense that we are not just going to stay with the verb B. Today we are going to move forward and we are going to work with different verbs which is good and I mean, it's gonna be fun. It's easy, it's small, it's a small exercise, the one that we are going to do, but I am sure you are going to enjoy it. So, let's see. Who else is connecting? Luis, Oliva, and... Luis is connecting right now, let's wait a second for him. Let's see, Luis, how are you today? Perhaps he cannot hear me. Okay, now let's see. We're going to start. Paul, I'm sorry, I always start with you, but in my screen, you appear the first. So, Paul, tell me, uh, who do you live with? I live with my, my wife. Okay. And this moment, I live, in, with, I live with my mom. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So, you take care of your mother. That's very yes. good. That's very yes. good. Uh, let's see now, Erika. Where's Erika? Oh, right there. Erika, tell me, who do you live with, Erika? I live with my husband and my mother and my father. 
Oh, that's nice. Great. So you have your parents with you. Yes. Uh, okay, tell me, uh, what is your your father's name? Uh, my father, uh, his name is uh, Oscar. Oscar. Okay, what about your mother? What's her name? Her name is Rina. Rina. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Reina. Hello, Reina. Hello, teacher. Tell me, who do you live with? I live in my husband. I live with my husband. I live with my husband. Okay, that's nice. What's his name? His name is William. Okay, thank you. Rosario. Hi, teacher. teacher. Okay, Rosario, tell me, who do you live with? I live with my two sons. Oh, with your two sons, with your two yes. kids. Okay, that's yes. nice. And tell me, what are their names? Uh, her name. Their, uh, their they, names. They, their name is Salvador and Juan. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Cesar. Hello, Cesar. Hello. Okay, tell me, Cesar, who do you live with? I live with my wife and my my kids. Okay, what is your wife's name? Her name is Pamela. What about your kids? What are their names? Their names are uh, Juan Diego and Andres. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, uh, Jonathan. Hello. Hello, Jonathan, tell me, uh, who do you live with? I live with my wife. Okay. Only that. Only that. What's her name? Her name is Marcela. Marcela, perfect, thank you. Let's see, Brenda. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Brenda. Tell me, Brenda, uh, did you have dinner already? Yes. Oh, really? I, I, yes, I did. I, I. Okay. What did you have for dinner? Your name? What did you eat today? I ate uh, beans I... and ate okay. at, uh, bread and milk. Excellent. Healthy. That's good. Luis, Luis Oliver. Hi, teacher. Hello. Tell me, what's your favorite dinner? What's your favorite dinner? Yeah, what's your favorite food for dinner? Ah, okay. Uh, dinner is... Uh, Pancake. Oh, really? You like pancakes for dinner? Yeah, I drink coffee. Interesting. That's nice. Linda, Linda Tabora. Yes, teacher. Hello. Tell me, Linda. Did you have dinner already? I... Yes. Okay. I dinner right now. <laughs> oh, really? That's good. Okay, now <laughs> tell me, what are you having for dinner? Um, sandwich. Sandwich. Oh. Yes. Do you, do you like tuna sandwich? Yes, but I prefer jam, sandwich jam, and okay. mozzarella cheese. Oh, really? Nice. My favorite, my favorite is egg sandwich. Ah, with yeah. jam or along eggs? Just the egg, the egg, just the egg, perhaps cheese, a little bit, just a little piece. But man, egg sandwich for me, oof, that's yeah. delicious. What um, about you, Eduardo? What's your favorite dinner? What do you like to have for dinner? 
my favorite dinner. Yes. Um. I don't know. I don't think about that. Um. I chicken. Um. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice asado? Bacon. Uh, no. no it's, uh, roast. 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 Chicken roast or roast chicken? Roast chicken. Roast, roast chicken. Roast. Yes. Oh, really? That's good. <laughs> what about you, Ernesto? I got Ernesto, oh, yes. Hello, Ernesto. Tell me, what do you like for dinner? Um, uh, hamburger. Hamburgers? Oh, good, interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you like them tall or regular? Uh, regular. Okay, that's good, yeah. that's good. Yeah, because hamburgers are delicious, but they include a lot of fat. Okay, yeah. let, let's see, let's see. And Okay, guys, let's see. Erika Salmeron, tell me, do you like pupusas? Yes, I like. Okay, what's your favorite type of pupusas? And uh, uh, oh no, how is it? Garlic? Garlic? Garlic, uh -huh. Garlic and the lot of. Oh really? Yeah, yes. gar garlic are for me are acceptable. What about you, Paul? Do you like pupusas? Uh, yes, I like pupusas. But I pref I prefer to eat minced cheese with bread, um, with more drink milk. Oh really? Yes. Interesting. Okay, guys. Now Enjoy. we are going to move into small groups. Let's see. I got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay, we are going. I'm going to create small groups. And I want you in that group to ask each other the question, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite dish? Or what's your favorite dinner? Or what do you like to have for dinner? Okay. I want to ask each other about the food that you like. I want you to, uh, to use the WH question. Remember what, when, or how. Like uh, I asked Paul, just an example. I asked Paul, uh, Paul, do you like chicken? Please answer. Uh, yes, I like it. Okay. Uh, how do you like the chicken? Ah. Uh, you see? I like, yes, I like the chicken in sauce. Oh, in sauce. Yes, sauce. Interesting. Sauce. Okay, thank you, Paul. Okay. As you can see, guys, okay. that's. That's the type of conversation that I want you to have. We are going to have three minutes so you can ask each other and I'm going to be moving from room to room to check out that you are doing the exercise. The objective of this exercise is to ask questions with WH questions and not just the verb be, other verbs. That's the objective of the activity, okay? Is it, is it clear the objective what we are going to do? Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. Now yeah. let me create the rooms. Let's see. Right now we are going to move to the rooms. Rosario, you are being you have been invited to join room number one. Perfect.
Yes, I did. I yes, I ate. Yes, I ate. What your favorite dinner? My favorite dinner on the weekend. I prefer my dinner seafood. For example, ceviche. <laughs> excellent, guys. Excellent. Continue. Okay. Continue. Okay. Jonathan, hello, can you hear me? Hello, yes. Okay, I will move you to another group because your classmate uh, has had a little problem, okay? Okay. San Salvador. Ah, San Salvador. Sí, sí. Um, eh, en, en San Salvador es a pollo real. Creo que ah, sí. Yes. Yes, yes. Like, I like I like the pollo. pollos real. Ah, yes, el pollo. Ay, when I like chicken. Roast chicken. You like roast chicken. You like yeah. roast Oh, chicken. Oh, when I I go to the Salvador, I like to eat uh, uh, pollo real. Yeah. Well, when I can. <laughs> when I can. Uh, okay, it's uh, Luis. I work in, at Tivo El Salvador. <laughs> Do you work at Tivo? Yes. In, in what area do you work? I job in billing. Okay, Jonathan. I, I am, I'm, I work at Tivo too. Really? Yes. I am at um, B2B. Oh, okay. Jonathan, what's your favorite food? Okay. Jonathan, what's your favorite food? Okay, my Yeah. Uh, oh. Para decir teacher, coffee con leche o... No lo escuchamos, sí. Sorry. Coffee with milk. Uh -huh. Coffee? With, with milk. milk. Mm. Or it depends if you, if you refer to a special coffee like a cappuccino. It's a cappuccino. Or a uh -huh. mocha, or espresso. Okay. You like it? Who likes coffee with milk? I I uh, I like coffee with milk. Oh, but really? my my coffee you, uh, que I drink is um, uh, the caffeinado. Oh, decaf. Decaf, correct. Decaf. I don't like. I don't, me neither. Me neither. 
I don't like decaf. And my coffee has to be black. I like it black. Black. No sugar. Uh, I like uh, black. Uh, yeah. Para decir, tiene que ser con leche. It has to be with milk. It has, it has to be to be it, it has to be with milk. With milk. Continue, ladies. Continue. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, everybody's back. Well, guys, how did you like the activity? Yes, I like the activity. Yes, I like it. Yeah, you could, you could talk about something very simple. I heard that some of you found out that you work for the same company. Okay. Who are the ones who... Oh, Cesar and Jonathan, you work for the same company. Yes. yes. <clears throat> Interesting. We work at you. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. So I'm going to complain with you guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's see. Let's continue. Now, I'm going to share with you the, the presentation that I sent you. Well, I sent it to you in the format of PDF. I will share it with you so we can check out some of the vocabulary because after that we will go again to the rooms you're going to have a little practice and i'm going to be again moving from room to room checking out how you are doing the exercise okay right mm -hmm. now where where uh, what am i going to do is to share with you the presentation just let me see that i have it in pdf form and it's this. Okay. I think you can watch it like this. Do you? Yes. 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 Okay. Just listen, please. Questions and answers. As you can see, we have here questions with yes, no answers. They are short answers but the questions are remember yes no and they are using different verbs not the verb be how do we structure them simple the auxiliary plus the subject i we you they plus the verb the main verb now in this case we are working we are focusing on do as you can see here all these three questions use do. Do you get up at 3 a.m.? Yes, I do. Do any NCC have breakfast every day? No, they don't. Remember, these are questions with this, these are just no questions with different verbs. In this case, the verb is get up. In this case, the verb is 
to have breakfast. Now, you yeah. can check out that the yes, no questions in this situation are answered with the auxiliary. Yes, I do. No, they don't. And this, the subject of the answer depends on the question. In this case, do you, when they ask you, do you, we usually answer I. In this case, do any NCC, two persons. That's why the subject here is they. Now, when we talk about the third person of the singular, we use does. Instead of do, instead of the auxiliary do, we use does. Does your brother go to school by car? And the answer, uh, yes, he does. Yes. If it's negative, could be, no, he doesn't. Does Buddy have milk for breakfast? No, he doesn't. Okay, you see the structure of the question in this case is the auxiliary plus the subject, he, she, or it. He, she, or it are used always with this auxiliary, thus. You see? And the main verb, do you remember that in affirmative form, when we are talking about he, she, or it, usually the verb ends with S or yes. Like I say, uh, Paul, Paul works at home and in the office. You see, works. I add an S. In this case, when it is a question, as we have the auxiliary, the S or the ES is right here, not in the verb. That's why you see does. And you see the verb have, no has. You see does and the verb go, no goes. So does your brother go to school by car? Yes, he does. Does Barry have milk for breakfast? No, he doesn't. Am I clear? No questions? No, it's clear. It's clear. Okay, perfect. Now. In this case, we have something different. You see? Do you remember that the structure in the first questions started with do? But now the questions start with the WH. The WH question will always be at the beginning of the sentence, before the auxiliary. In the yes, no questions, we start the question with the auxiliary, do or does. The structure is the same, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement, question mark. The WH question just moves to right the beginning. What time do you get up? I get up at 5 a.m. Imagine this sentence without this. Do you go to work? Yes, I go. Oh, no, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. But when we want to know how, remember that the WH questions are used to ask for specific information. How do you go to work? I go to work by bike. What do Barry and Wati have for breakfast? Barry and Wati have tea and sandwich for breakfast. Where does he go every Saturday? He goes to work every Saturday. Why does she go to work? She goes to work because she needs money. Now you see information. Remember when we put this, when we use one of the WH questions, we are asking for specific information. The answers, the answers are not just simple yes or no. You need to be specific on what you want to know. That's why we use the WH question, because it is specific. What time? How? 
what, where, why. And the answer must, of course, give an explanation. Let's continue. Okay. Who does John like? John likes Anne. Whom does John like? Or who does John, oh, I'm sorry, who or whom are the same? You see, who does John go with? He goes with Anne. With whom does John go? He goes with Anne. Who does John send a car to? He sends a car to Anne. To whom does <laughs> John send a car? Yes. Can you explain, please? What is the difference with who or whom? No difference. And in what case we can use who or whom? Is who? Is you use it like quien and whom a quien or you can say para quien okay and but they can be used the same way both of them you see here to whom a quien who does john send a car to when we use whom the two must be next to it. When we use who, this particle comes to the end. That's the only difference, but they are the same, no problem. Is that okay? No more questions, is it clear? It's okay. clear. Okay, I will continue. Okay. Who loves you? Pevita loves me. Who sends a car to Anne? John sends a car to Anne. What happens here almost every day? Accidents happen here almost every day. Oh yeah, that's El Salvador. <laughs> Who fights every midnight? Buddy and Annie fight every midnight. Oops, there are problems there. And we use the WH questions to ask more detailed information. Remember, detailed information. That's what we are going to know, specific information. Now, guys, if you have something to write on, well, you have this presentation, no? What time do you get up? How do you go to work? What do you, in this case, you are going to substitute this for you. What do you have for breakfast? Where do you go every Saturday? Why do you go to work? These questions you are going to ask each other. That's the next exercise. You are going to be asking each other in the groups, in the breakout rooms, the questions, okay? Okay. So you have the questions already on the WhatsApp group. Okay. So you can check them and I'm going to divide you into groups right now. So you can ask them questions. And I think you can work the same groups, no? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Eduardo, you have not joined the group yet? Oh, that's it. Perfect. Thank you. 
see the WhatsApp. You don't have the questions? This eating is... Uh... The first question is, what time do you get up? Yes, I know. Uh, quería compartir el archivo para que lo tuviéramos los tres. Oh, if you want, I can take it. I can take a picture of it and put it on the WhatsApp group right now. Yes, I know. I'll but, do it. No question. Uh, I see yeah. the WhatsApp. Uh, in this moment, I see the picture. The, uh, yeah. Paul, I don't understand. Yes, in this moment, I see the WhatsApp. The, the, the file. Yes, in this moment. Yes. Okay, perfect. But I, I put it there for everybody. But perhaps there's somebody who doesn't have it. Okay, I ask the questions to each other. Okay. Uh, Rosario, what time do you get up? I get up at uh, in this moment eight a.m. Ah, uh, perdón. Sorry. Uh, I get up at eight a.m. Ah, okay. Um, how do you go to work? I go to work by the car. By car. By car. Okay, what do you... Do you go to go to work? Uh, um, uh, in, I, uh, serían respuestas cortas, verdad, Lee? Or respuestas largas? No, long answer. Remember, we are using WH questions, so the answer must be long, specific. Like I ask Luis, oh. uh, how do you go to work? And he says, oh, I go to work by bus, or I go by to bus. work by car, or by motorcycle. Oh, okay. okay. I go to work with my battle cycle, uh, motorcycle. Okay, nice. Be careful. Okay. Okay, continue, okay. guys. Um, what do you have for breakfast? Uh, I have I have cereal. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> cereal um, and milk? Cereal, yeah, cereal. cereal and milk. With banana. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um uh, No me la, esa no la sé cómo se pronuncia la tercera. ¿Cómo es a él que le está preguntando? Which one did you say? Number three. 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 Yeah. What do you have for breakfast? Um, eh, I eat eh, pupusas. I usually eat pupusas. I usually eat pupusas and one cup coffee. Oh, and a cup of coffee, nice. Cup of coffee, yeah. What well, about you, Erika? What, uh, do you, what do you have for breakfast? For breakfast, I have the eggs, banana, beans, and the coffee. Oh, it's a big breakfast. Yes. <laughs> Good, excellent. Continue, guys. Where where do you go every Saturday?
Uh, what time do you sleep, Paul? What time do you go to sleep? What time do you go to sleep? I go to sleep at 10 p.m. Very okay. early. Yes. <laughs> um, how do you go to restaurant? In Saturday. Do you go to a restaurant on a Saturday? Perhaps. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo llegas al restaurante el sábado? I drive my car. Okay, I drive my car. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, we are going to go back in a minute. Okay, so okay. continue, continue. Okay. Teacher, I didn't listen. Sorry. Now we can. Paul, you said that you like seafood on weekends. What's your favorite seafood, Paul? Oh, perhaps he's having trouble with connection. Yes, we don't hear you quite quite well, Paul. Teacher, how do you say camarones? Shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah. Do you like shrimp? Ceviche. Yes, I like shrimp. Ceviche. Ceviche. Mm. Ceviche. Podría, eh, podría escribirlo en el chat para ver cómo se, cómo se escribe. Yeah, sure. I'll do it right now. Don't worry. Yeah. So you like... Ceviche. Yeah, ceviche is nice. Ceviche and fish and fish. Ceviche, fish. And fish and... Langosta? Is... Shrimp. 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 Langosta. Okay, do you know how to say langosta? How do you say lobster? Lobster. 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 Perfect. Lobster. Yes, lobster. Hey, Excellent. Lobster. I don't remember. I didn't. Yeah, lobster. Lobster is delicious. Yeah, lobster is delicious. So let's see. Um, Erika, do you like seafood? Seafood. Yes. Yes, I like, I like it so what's, much. What's your favorite? I like the crabs. Crabs? Uh, fish. Okay. And the, the, los punches, como se llama? It's crab. It's crabs. crabs. Yes. In my case, but, I but, love. But punches is different. Punches yeah. is punches. <laughs> <laughs> In my case, I love shark. Yeah. Yes. Really? Shark? Yes. Shark ceviche is delicious. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yes, I love really. it. 
Creí que, creí que decía tiburón. Shark. Yes, that's, that's yeah. shark. Yeah. Yeah. Shark. Yeah. Yeah. Dios santo. Oh, it's delicious. I recommend it. You could try it. It's a very good dish. Yo a lo mucho he comido tilapia pescado normal, pero... Oh, pero... no, no. Where do you buy? Shark, usually at the port, eh, La Libertad port. Oh, okay. Eh, it's, mm -hmm. I like it, shark, also in uh, La Costa del Sol. And mm -hmm. uh, let me see what else. Oh, anguila, anguila is delicious also. Anguila. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fried. Oh my gosh, it's tasty. I like the seafood. Yeah. All seafood. <laughs> You know, I like it because it is tasty. You see the word tasty. Do you know the word? Tasty. tasty. Do you know tasty. that word? It's it's similar are to delicious. Do you like oh. exotic mm. food? Man, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I like. Uh, I like the pizza, I like cortusa, I like arrobo, yes, sure. I like arrobo. Mm. Yeah. I like uh, many different animals. I like them. It's full. Oh. Okay, guys, tell me, <laughs> did you like the activity? Yes, I uh, like Yes, I like it. Okay, yes, like. nice, nice, nice. Next week, we are going to have a little bit different activities because we are going to do the practice also with presentations, but more interactive here in the area. We are going to continue having the presentations. I will be sending you all the material. And remember, right now you need to have finished exercises up to 2.4 in the platform. Okay. Okay. For Monday, you need to have finished the 2.4 exercise. If okay. you have any questions, if you have any question, text me and I will gladly help you. So let's make a review. The remember that we were working today with WH questions with different verbs. Remember that we use the WH questions when we want to be specific when we want detail remember that word detail information that's when we want to when we use the wh questions remember also that wh questions always come at the beginning of a sentence. I will, I am typing you these instructions. Don't forget it, check out the, the chat. Always come at the beginning of a sentence. Remember that. Can you see it on the chat? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. That's very important and remember, they, when we are talking about the WH questions, they come to at the beginning of a sentence and they do not affect the structure. They do not affect the structure. The structure of the sentence is normal, just that the WH question goes at the beginning, before the auxiliary. When we are talking about other verbs, but the verb be, remember they come before the auxiliary. When we are working with the verb be, the WH question comes before the verb be. The verb, no? Like, uh, what is your name? You see, what, the WH question, is the verb be, the verb be, your name, the complement. Mm -hmm. What do you like for dinner? What, the WH question, do the auxiliary, you, the subject, and like? What do you like? 
Okay. Remember okay. those those structures. Like in the first sentence that I gave you, what is your name? As you can see, we have first the WH question, what, then you have the verb to be, is, then you have the subject, then you have the complement, and at the end, the question mark. But the structure, verb be, subject, complement, is the same, just the WH question goes at the beginning. If I ask you, in the other question want? that I ask you, what do you like for dinner, as an example, you can see we have what, the WH question, then you have the auxiliary, yes. okay. the subject, the main verb, yes. and the yes. complement. Yes. The structure doesn't change, just that the WH question goes at the beginning of the sentence. Questions up to this moment? Do you have any doubt? It's okay. No question, it's all clear. Is it clear? Clear. Okay. Remember, guys, if you have any doubt, ask me. If you think that something is not clear, remember, you can ask me. This is your class, this is your time, and I am here to help you. So, whatever is not clear or you feel it like, like it's kind of confused, please ask me. I am glad to help you. I actually like it when you are when you start asking me because then I know that you are like paying attention to the class and that's very important for me. So for Monday, remember up to 2.4. Tomorrow we have uh, no class, it's a free day. But if you have any question, don't worry, text me, I'm there. So I'm there to help you. So don't worry about that. Is that clear? Yes, thank you. Yes, yes. yes clear. Yes. Okay, guys. Thank you very much to all of you for being in the class. And I will be sending you, uh, perhaps tomorrow, I will send you something for you to have fun, okay, in the group. Okay. A small exercise, but it's going to be simple just for you to practice, to remember a little bit of the activities we have developed all through the week. Is that okay with you? Okay. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye, bye teacher. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a nice. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.